Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today we're going to be talking about the Tamron 35 to 150 lens. This thing is a beast, and we've used it for both photo and video. Now, as you guys know, I predominantly do videography. I do weddings, I do corporate, and I do a fair amount of commercial work. So let's just start off with the price on this bad boy. It is a light, it is around $2,000 if you buy it brand new, but you can find it used and sometimes new condition on eBay around the $1,300 to $1,500 mark. So for what the lens is, I think it's very reasonably priced because you get a lens that is a 35 millimeter to 150 millimeter f2 to f2.8 which is amazing and that's one of the reasons that i absolutely love it when we are shooting wedding videography and we're doing the reception and there are dances i can throw this on my gimbal and i can get all the way down to an f2 at 35 millimeter and a max of f2.8 at 150 millimeter so i can get a nice zoom quickly and only max out at 2.8 and i can be is wide at 35 at f2. So this lens is extremely versatile and that's the thing that I absolutely love about it. Now a lot of people love their prime lenses because you can get under, you know, you can get 1.8, 1.4, 1.2, which is fantastic. But a lens that allows you to go from 35 millimeters to 150 is extremely important to me. Now I will mention that this is 2.6 pounds. So depending on what type of gimbal you have, tripod, and body that you have, etc., it may be a little heavy for your gimbal. I have the Crane 3S, so it can easily handle the weight on this, and this thing was fantastic. The other thing that I absolutely love about it for video that I realized while shooting a wedding a couple weekends ago was how smooth this zoomed out. So this is super, super, super smooth. So if if you hold the gimbal just right and you're slowly turning it, um, it's going to get a nice smooth punch in or push out, right? So it's going to come in or it's going to give me that nice wide. And if you've got it set to the F2, as you're switching, it will go from 2.8 to F2. So absolutely amazing. Um, far as the sharpness for photos, I have not gotten a lot of photography work that I was able to test it on, but I did some event photography for a local law office. I didn't use any external light, so we just shot with natural light coming into the uh, conference center. So I'm going to pop up a few of those pictures, but it was super sharp. It, it, it focused super quickly. That was the other thing that I absolutely loved about it is when I was shooting wedding video, it was able to just quickly quickly hit that autofocus and the autofocus worked really well with it. Now, we are using the Sony FX3 for most of our video, so it has a great autofocusing system paired with this lens. Um, absolutely amazing. So this is probably gonna get added to my kit. I have the 70 to 200 millimeter F4 Sony and I'm probably gonna sell that, spend a couple extra hundred dollars, pick this up. Now it is taking, you know, I'm only getting that 35 to 150 um, and I'm not gonna have that full 70 to 200, but very rarely do I feel like I need that extra 200. And if you're using like, like one of the Sony a7 III, a7 IV, um, a7 R4, a7 R5, you have that Super 35 mode, we have that preset on um, my a7 III, a7 R3. So what I can do is I just push a button and now I've got that crop sensor mode so I'm able to punch out a little bit further. Granted, it's not gonna go all the way back to three, uh, 35 millimeters, um, and, but it will, get, will give me closer to that 200 millimeter if I need, if I'm on one of those bodies. Um, and you do have a zoom mode on the FX3 that works pretty, digital zoom mode that works pretty well. So I can get close to that 200 millimeters or right at that 200 millimeters if I need it. But the only time that I really need that maybe that extra little bit is when we're doing the ceremony video. I've got um, a camera sitting in the very far back and then um, I wanna punch in to the bride and groom uh, right down the aisle. Um, but 150 millimeter actually worked pretty well for the wedding that we shot this weekend. And I absolutely love this lens. Being able to be at 35 for an F2, but punch all the way out to 150 really quickly, just made shooting my wedding videography super easy. And I can only imagine how nice this would be shooting a wedding pho photography, right? So I, I didn't get a chance to shoot any photo weddings, um, so I didn't really get a chance to really test this out, but the sharpness is great. Um, and just, I mean, come on, you've got a 35 to 150, and your max aperture is 2.8. I mean, that's just like amazing. 
uh, for any photographer or video videographer out there. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, prime, 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 what's prime lenses are great. But having the versatility of being able to zoom in and zoom out at that length and get that low aperture, right, is super helpful, um, especially in a run and gun situation. So if you don't have time to preset all these shots, right, um, this allows you to jump in and be able to get some just beautiful, amazing shots. So huge fan of this lens. Again, $2,000 brand new and uh, right around uh, 13 to 1500 you can find it used or even I've seen some brand new prices as low as 1500 on eBay. So I would definitely check it out. Highly, highly love this lens, highly suggest it. So uh, as always guys, there'll be a link uh, in, right over here. There'll also be a link at the end of the video so you can go check it out. If you do purchase it, it does help us out. And uh, as always, I just appreciate being and sending this out to us to test it out and see what we think of it. Um, this is probably gonna get added to my kit within the next six months. So guys, I'll catch you next time. Let's go.